In this video, I'll show you how to use the HTTP request node in NAN, the tool that lets you connect to any app or service that has an API. Here's why this node is so powerful. Not every app has a ready-made NAN node, but if the app has an API, and most modern apps do, the HTTP request node lets you talk to it directly. That means you're not limited to what's built in NAN. You can connect to thousands of extra services on your own. To see it in action, let's build a simple workflow. Every workflow begins with a trigger. So in this example, I'll just click on the plus sign and we'll click on the trigger manually. This just allows me to control when I wanna execute my workflow. Next, let's add our HTTP request node. Click on the plus sign and search for HTTP request. This is where NAN talks directly with another app or service that has an API. APIs usually give you an endpoint, basically a web address or URL that you can call to get information or send instructions to. Think of it like visiting a website, but instead of viewing the web page, you get data back. For this demo, I'm using Weather API. You'll need to sign up for an account so that you can get an API key. So if we go to the Weather API docs, we can see all of the different information that they provide through their API. We can also see how they do their authentication and we can see the request URLs to get different pieces of data. Finally, we can see the request parameters. So back in NAN, let's paste the API endpoint to get the current weather conditions. It looks like a normal URL, but instead of returning a web page, it returns JSON, structured data that NAN can understand. Now, when making HTTP requests, you need to choose a method. Get means you're asking for data, like what's the weather today? Post means you're sending instructions, like create a new record for me. Since we just wanna fetch the weather, we'll use the get method. The first thing that we need to do is add a query parameter. So we toggle this on, and if you remember from our API documentation, we type the name as Q. This is our query of which city we wanna get the weather for. So I'm gonna type Sydney. Most APIs need authentication so that they can identify who's calling. And the most common method is an API key, basically a secret password that proves you're allowed to use the company service. Without it, your request will fail and you'll most likely see a 401 error, which means you're unauthorized. So to prove we're allowed to use the API, we're gonna to need to send them our API key. To do this, we're gonna add a header. Headers are like little notes that you attach to your request. In this example, Weather API needs a header with the key name called key and the value set to our API key. So it should look like this. So let's test it out. Click on the execute step button and then you'll see JSON returned. JSON is a structured way to send data over the internet. Think of it like a digital filing cabinet with labels and values. For example, we can see the temperature in degrees Celsius is 24.2. We can also see that the condition is clear. Once you know where to find these values, you can drag and drop them into other nodes. Next, let's log the results. So to do this, click on the plus symbol and search for the Google Sheet node. We want to append a row in the sheet. Make sure to add your credential. You'll see here that I've created a simple weather spreadsheet. I'm just gonna track the location, the temperature, and the condition. So the first thing we wanna do is add the spreadsheet, and then we'll add the sheet as sheet one. Now, let's go map the fields from the previous node. Drag the name to the location, drag the temp underscore C to the temperature column, and drag the text to the condition. This will map the values to the columns in our weather spreadsheet. Now let's run this and see what happens. Once it's done, you'll see the JSON. Now let's go over to our spreadsheet. Here you can see the location is Sydney, the temperature is 24.2, and the condition is clear. Three pro tips to make your life easier. Always make sure to test one node at a time so that you can drag and drop the previous values into the current node. Use query parameters in the HTTP request node rather than adding them to the URL. It's just cleaner and easier to debug. Don't hard code API keys in your workflows. Store them as credentials in NAN. Don't copy me. So that's how you can use HTTP request nodes to connect to any app or service with an API. What's the first API that you're gonna connect to? Drop it in the comments below. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do error handling so your workflows never break. And don't forget to subscribe for more NAN tutorials.